Finally, you're home. No need to be startled. I'm not gonna hurt you. Unless you force me to. Come on, you should know who it is. It's me, your roomie. Our bedrooms are right next to each other, remember? I was waiting for you, Sully. I missed you. You always get into bed so late. I'm so tired of waiting. Of course I waited for you, darling. I wait every night. I wait for you to sleep because it makes me happy. I try to snuggle with you while you sleep. But I leave before you wake up, because I know you would find it weird. But no more. I'm tired of losing sleep over you. I need to know. Are you dating anyone? Good. I won't have to, well, you know, remove anyone from the picture. Makes things easier for me. It doesn't matter. Let me just... It's a good thing it's clean down there. Either way, I prefer seeing your pretty face. Oh yes. I've memorized every detail on your face. To the point that I could reconstruct it by hand. Down to the individual scars. Your eyes reflect a light sharper than any knife. Your skin is softer than any pillow. I could go on all night, and I will, if you want me to. But first, can I hold you? Wonderful. Allow me to. Well, not always. I would often take pictures, hold your hand, maybe whisper a few sweet nothings in your ear. You deserve my love. And only my love. I'm the only one who's dedicated enough to give you the time of day. <laughs> no, 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 darling. If they're anything like I've seen, then they shouldn't be anywhere near you. No one should. With the way people have treated you, they should feel lucky they're even alive. I would do anything for you, my love. Including taking a few lives. What's a little blood when it means my darling is healthy and happy? I would argue that they do deserve it. And it's necessary for your health. But in any case, the law doesn't stop me. I only know one law. And it's to love you. Forever. And never. Even if it means taking drastic measures. Well, think about it. A partner is someone who's supposed to love you forever. Till death the apart, right? Accepting every flaw and need that they have. I know, but I'm telling you right now. I love and accept you. You're the only one I've had eyes on since you moved here. I know everything about you. Everything. You're right, Oma. 
almost everything. It's just that we don't often talk to each other, so I watch instead. I hide under your bed to make sure no monsters attack you in the middle of the night. Or anyone, for that matter. Well, no, I haven't seen any monsters. But I wouldn't want you to be left alone the second one does show up. I would protect you then. Exactly. There's nothing to stop a poor, innocent creature from being eaten. All alone in the darkness of your room. Tell me, are you afraid of the dark? You don't sleep like others I've seen. You tend to stir a bit. Sometimes you just lay there in the dark, all alone. It doesn't matter now. Now that I'm here, you'll never get a bad night's rest again. I can sleep with you. Forever. Well, maybe not forever. You have the boring things to do. Like a job. A family. Responsibilities. But don't worry. We can fix that. Soon. It'll be just you and me. Why not? I see it in your eyes. The idea of escape is appealing to you. We could move out of the silly apartment and go somewhere that doesn't need responsibilities. I've been saving up for it all year long. Well, I wouldn't say right now. I'm mostly talking about till maybe five years down the road. You don't want to stay cooped up in here, do you? You can trust me. I have your best interest at heart. I promise you. Would you have moved in with me if you couldn't trust me? My darling, why do you hesitate? I feel you shifting in my arms. Do you not trust me? It's okay, you're safe here. I won't hurt you. I could never hurt you. Not a single hair on your head. Because you're funny, cute, endearing, and you have so much kindness for everyone you meet. Maybe a little too much. You're just a sweetheart, that's all. People are cruel, and they don't deserve your time. You'll see in time. You'll see how horrible they've been to you. And one day, they'll pay for it. Every single time they've done harm to you, I promise you, they'll regret it. But now's not the time for revenge. It's time for the both of us to sleep. No houseplants. No horrible days, just the warmth of my touch and the soft bed, just for us tonight. We can talk more tomorrow. <laughs> Sweetheart, as much as I'd love to talk with you all night about all of my plans for us, 
We really need to get some sleep. Both of us have been staying up so late, and it's not healthy. Do you know how groggy you're going to be tomorrow? You never function well when you're this tired. What if I were to hurt you right now? Would you be too tired to do anything about it? I'm just teasing, darling. But regardless, you need to rest. We have a lot to talk about tomorrow. And it's going to be hard for you to pay attention like this. You can barely keep your eyes open right now. Well, I'm glad my voice is soothing. I tend to record your voice for the same reason. It's calming to me to hear you happy. And it's the only thing that gets me to sleep enough. But I... I can't pretend anymore. I need you. The real you. It'll work. Just trust me. I just need to hold you closer. I'm trying to calm you down. So you can sleep. If I'm closer, then I can whisper sweet nothings into your ear. That way, my soothing voice, as you've said yourself, can lull you to sleep. Hearing your soft and steady breathing will in turn make me fall asleep. It's a win-win for both of us. Ah, nothing specific. Just positive things about yourself. And things I love about you. Maybe if I'm lucky, you remember everything in the morning. Just close your eyes, my darling. I'll take care of you. Did I ever tell you about how much I love your smile? It could light up our room. Fighting everyone's day. Why do you deny it? Do you not trust my judgment? If you could see it, I'm sure you would understand. There are a lot of things about yourself that you don't say. Because you're so hard on yourself. For example, you're very humble, almost too humble. You seem to forget how wonderful you are because of it. You hide all the best parts of yourself, but I've seen them all. I won't stop reminding you of why you make me happy. <laughs> You're too tired to even argue against it. Listen to your girlfriend, darling. She knows what's best for you. Where were we? Oh yes, your laugh. It's very contagious. And it's a good laugh. We all need a reminder to laugh and breathe every 
be once in a while. Slowing down. It's nice to see you're finally calm. I'm sorry I scared you. Another thing about your heart. It's pure. You have good intentions. But the world has yet to see it. I won't change. 